x square 50 let me take k value 1 50 minus x whole square 50 plus x whole square first we will restrict ourselves to a smaller value 100 minus x whole square 100 plus x whole square all the cases the last two digits will be same all the cases last two digits will be same proof method one method one is by using examples method one is by taking examples vague proof then i'll do reminders let me take x value 4 x value 4 4 square it is nothing but 16 50 minus 4 26 square is nothing but 2116. 54 square, it is nothing but 2916. 100 minus 4, 96 square is nothing but 9216. 104 square, it is nothing but 10816. 50 minus 4 whole square, 50 plus 4 whole square. 100 minus 4 whole square, 100 plus 4 whole square. Last two digits is same in all the cases. Sir, you took 4. Let Please take any other number that comes into your mind. X equivalent to 9. 9 square is 81. 50 minus 9. 41 square. 1681. 50 plus 9. 59 square. 3481. 100 minus 9. 91 square. 8281. 109 square. 11881. You can check a calculator. Hopefully, after listening to some more classes, you will also solve like me. If somebody asks you, 414 whole square, you can say 171396. If somebody asks you 317 whole square, 100489. They are all two seconds, three seconds squaring and cubing of a three digit number. Now, what is important to me is that the last two digits is the same in all these cases. Last two digits, 16. Here also, last two digits, same. Last two digits, same. Last two digits, same. Last two digits same. So either do 50 plus x whole square or 50 minus x whole square. Take the number greater than 50. Take the number less than 50. Square it. Take the number less than 100. Take the number greater than 100. Square it. Not only 50 and 100. Any multiples of 50. It could be plus 50 minus 50. Plus 100 minus 100. Plus 150 minus 150. Like that you can take. X equivalent to 9. 9 square 81. 81, 81, 81. I hope this idea it is clear.